This is the Airway Breast Pump, which I've been using for about three months now, so I can give you a really honest review. There are some definite pros, but also there are some definite cons. So if you just buy the one, which is what I did, you get one of these units, but you get kind of two of everything else. So you can only use one at a time of these ones, but you can start to sterilize some of the other stuff. So the basic function is actually really, really easy. It does have an app, which I'm kind of 50-50 about, but for basic function without the app, we're gonna turn it on here. So just one button, you press, you turn it on, and then it lights up. So it's gonna tell you there's a little indicator like here, and this tells me that I'm on the left side. I can switch it to the right side, and then there's a little play button at the top. If you don't have the app working, it doesn't really matter left to right because you can control everything from here anyway. So when you're ready, you can just press, obviously put it in, but you then press the play button and then hopefully you'll hear the sounds. There's also a carnival next door, so you might hear the carnival. So this is it working here. You can then use the up and down buttons here at the top to kind of change how much you're feeling, I guess. And you might even be able to see it working on the green bit at the top. Obviously that'll be hidden at the time when you're using it. So this starts with like a stimulation mode. So that I think runs for about two minutes or until it senses that the milk is coming through and then it changes to the other mode. I'm not sure what that's called. And then the milk hopefully starts coming through. I'm just gonna pause this to save battery. When you are done with pause, and then you can either switch sides or change bottles if it's full. Um, and then you can just press off when you're done. Other than turning it on and off, you can do everything else from the app as well. But I'll talk about the app in a second. So that's kind of the basic, basic, basic function of this one. So if you just buy one, you get quite a lot of pieces with it. So you get one main unit here. You get two of these bottles that have two of the sort of plastic bits on the top and then two of the green kind of suctioning bits on the top as well. You then get two lids. So when you change the top, you can undo it, put a lid on instead. So like this, so it's a proper container for it. So I have used that lid quite a few times, which is actually really handy. You also get two bra strap adapters. As you can tell, I haven't used them. I haven't sort of needed to use because everything I wear is real stretchy right now. Um, but you get those little adapters to make it longer. And then you get a bag that it comes with. You get two breast shields and the little kind of suction pads that it comes with. So everything that needs to be sterilized, you can sterilize and kind of have one that you're using and one that's clean so you can use it next time. Apart from these, now this is one of my biggest like uh, points with the breast pump because you get two shields but they're completely different sizes. So one is smaller, one is bigger. There is a third even smaller one but if you want that one you have to pay somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds for. When you've just paid, so I paid 228 for this but I think it's usually 260 but I just got it through Boots on a deal and then got Boots points. So I actually got it quite cheap compared to what it usually costs. When you paid that much you don't want to then spend 20 to 30 pounds buying one to make it actually fit your nipple like that's really frustrating and I thought I was going to have to buy a smaller one because this didn't really fit at first but then I tried to kind of change the angle and adjusted it and it did fit so if you do struggle when you get it give it some time try different angles on your nipple like poke it up poke it down wiggle it around and then hopefully you'll be able to find that it does work for you without needing a different size but you might need a different size so that is one frustration that, that might happen I don't know if your baby's ever kind of missed your nipple in the night time and just sucked randomly somewhere on your boobs it really hurts and it kind of feels like that if you get it wrong and it like leaves an awkward red circle if you get it wrong. So if that doesn't ha does happen, that isn't normal. So you can just change it um, and then hopefully that'll feel more comfortable. So it shouldn't be painful. It might feel a bit like, oh, this is weird, but it shouldn't be painful. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's my kind of first gripe with it that there's only one of these. So you can't always have one ready and clean to go, especially if you're out and about the house. Um, that is a bit frustrating. So when we put it together, you wanna to get your little breast shield and then we grab one of the green bits and we stick it over the edge. Then you're gonna pop this into the hole at the back and click it in. Then you get a bottle. So you get your bottle and your lid, you put your lid in the bottle, click it into place, and then the green bit which slots on top as well. And then you click the green bit in at the base here. And that is your breast pump ready to go. The one thing I would say that if you set it up like this, and this is me speaking from annoying experience, the suction I think just goes after a couple of days. So if you do set it up and then pop it in your bag and you're good to go, if you get it out a couple of days later to use it, if you haven't been using it every day, I do find that the suction goes and then it doesn't do anything. And if you're wearing a top and you can't see the milk, which let's face it, you are most of the time, then you don't know that there isn't any milk coming until you're actually taking it off. So sometimes I do have to stop rearrange and go again. So I find it a bit frustrating that it feels like it's working, but something's not quite, like the suction's not quite right. So that is a slight downside. So I find the app a little bit frustrating. So if you are using the app, all you have to do is turn it on, 
put it in position and then the app can do everything else. So if you are out and about, it's really handy to be able to do it from your phone. However, if there is no signal, which has happened to me, it boots you off and you can't use it and it's really frustrating. It's not foolproof in terms of like Wi-Fi. So on the app, you can choose left and right sides and you can set your settings. So you can sort of say, this is how I prefer my left nipple. This is how what I prefer for my right nipple. It tells you also how much milk it's producing through here. Now there is a little measurement on the back. So there is a little, I don't know if you can see that, but there are measuring bits down here. I find it not very accurate. So I find that on the app, it will tell me say, oh, you've made 100 mils. And then I'll look on here and it'll just say like 85 mils. And then I'll weigh it on the scale and it will say 60 mils. So I find it varies massively. So if you were very specifically wanting to stop when you got to like 100 mils, it's not accurate. But for me, I pump to time rather than pumping for a specific volume. So I don't know if that's, you know, that's an issue or not. Other than the basic functions of kind of play, pause, left, right, I don't really tend to use the app. It's, there's something about it that's just a bit awkward to use and I haven't figured out what's awkward about it, but it's a bit awkward to use, so I don't tend to use it. So I wanted to show you how discreet or how discreet this isn't. So let me just change my top for you. So hopefully this gives you a better indication of what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna try and do this without flashing it. So if I'm going from the side here, there's not much to see. So if I'm here, I'm gonna pump, pump it through. Can I do this without flashing you completely? So you can see that <laughs> one side is very much bigger than the other side. So it's discreet to a point, you know, under a jumper, under a t-shirt, no one can really see unless they're staring there. So for me, it's as discreet as I need it to be because everything I wear is really, really stretchy. So it, I can just shove it down there. Pretty much everything I actually wear. Um, it does have the bra strap adapters, which I haven't had to use yet. So when I do take it out, I do find that it can leak because you've had milk in this bit here um, going into the pump. So when you take it out, it can leak back on you a little bit. So just be careful if you're in a really nice dress. All I'm gonna say, just be careful because the milk's gonna come out. So I tend to kind of have a muslin spare anyway and as I pull it out, I kind of like get like everything wiped away. If I'm gonna save it for later, I can just take the top off and put the lid on here. If I'm gonna tip it away, obviously you can just tip it away and then everything needs to be sterilized apart from this, well, the electrical bit, hopefully that's obvious. So I've not actually used another breast pump before, so all I can do is give you my opinion on this one. So pros for this one. It is lightweight, it's easy to use. You have the app to use if you wanna be a bit more hands-free. You don't have to be stuck to a wall when you use this one. You have two bottles, so if you're producing more milk or you need to pump more times than you can sterilize, if that makes sense, then that's quite Quite handy. I'm now striking the dog to keep them under control. Um, cons, obviously it's expensive. It's a con, but it's a con you know before you try it. Other cons, it frustrates me that there's only one shield because everything else you can sterilize and have two of and you can be ready to go again without having to sterilize except for that bit. I actually have to hold it in place. I put it in the bra, hand on, and hold it. I don't feel like I should have to. My bras are plenty tight enough, but I definitely notice the difference if I hold it versus if I don't hold it. If I hold it, I tend to get a lot more milk. If I just let it kind of be normal and don't hold it, then there's not as much suction. I don't get enough milk or don't get as much milk. So it is a bit frustrating. So for something that's hands-free, I'm still having to hold it. And I've tried it so many times and typing, I'll knock it off, like things that you wouldn't expect to like knock it off if you answer the phone call, like just that movement for me is enough to be I mean, I answer all my phones on speaker, but <laughs> but that movement is enough to kind of knock it off. So I do end up having to hold it. It's not really that much of a burden, but it's not something I expected to have to do, but I only kind of pump for five minutes or so at a time. So it's not the biggest drain. Other cons that the app doesn't always work if you're not really around signal, which is a bit frustrating. I find that the charge of this also doesn't last very long. So I pump for about five minutes a day, once or twice a day at the moment. And pretty much every week I have to charge it. If I haven't pumped for a week or so, because I kind of pump as and when, then it also runs out of charge. So if you're going away on holiday and taking it so you can pump, it runs out of battery and then you have to charge it. And I think it takes like four hours or something to charge. The app and the bottle and scales all say that the milk is a different amount. So it does sound like I've got loads of cons, but I'm actually happy that I have got this one. I do think it should be either a little bit less expensive or it should be flawless, but it's kind of not like either of those things. If you're not sure that you're gonna pump that much, it might be worth hiring one from somewhere so you can try out different ones and see what works for you. And then if you don't actually end up pumping or you don't like pumping, because I'm not a fan of pumping, then you haven't wasted your money. Whereas if you know that you're gonna go back to work and you're pumping all the time, then maybe something like this where you can be a bit more hands-free is really good for you. I do like it, I'm glad I've got it. And I, I actually wouldn't change it. If I needed to buy another one, I would just buy this one. But hopefully this one is gonna get better and better and better. But 
if you have this one let me know what you think about it and if you have a different one that you think is better or worse tell me tell me about it i'd like to know everything so just tell me what you think and i will see you for another talky one soon